This is the Viatech RE02 battery recharger. This is a battery charger which claims that it can recharge nickel cadmium batteries, nickel metal hydride batteries, or alkaline batteries. Now, the claim that it can recharge alkaline batteries got me curious. I, for one, am very skeptical that you can actually effectively recharge alkaline batteries. So I thought I would do some experiments on this thing to see if I could prove or disprove this. Several months ago I made a video about that, so I tried it on several alkaline batteries, and what I found was that yes indeed you can put some charge back on them. It depends greatly on the level of charge that you're starting at. If the battery doesn't go below say 1.2 volts or 1 maybe 1.1 volt, you can recharge it back up to 1.5 volts. The question is how much energy are you actually putting into that battery? Now, the lower the voltage you're starting with, the worse the result. If you're starting at, say, below 0.7 volts, then it's kind of hopeless. You really, you really can't recharge them. But if the battery hasn't discharged a great deal, you can put a voltage back on it of about 1.5 volts. Now, my own experiments found that even if you could put 1.5 volts back on it, it seemed that over time the voltage would dwindle back down again, even though the battery wasn't in use. And it also seemed that the amount of energy in the battery wasn't that great and discharged very quickly when put under use. And the third thing I found is a significant number of those batteries leaked after being recharged. Unfortunately, those experiments were rather anecdotal, not really quantified in any way. So I thought there should be some way to put numbers on this, and I was at a loss to come up with a simple experiment that I could do some actual measurements, and then it occurred to me when my smoke alarm started beeping. A smoke alarm. Okay, so a smoke alarm is a device which draws a very small but steady current. So the length of time that this device runs on a set of batteries should be a rough estimate of the relative amount of energy in that battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two fresh alkaline batteries into my smoke alarm. And I have confirmed that they are good. I have measured them at both 1.56 volts, which means they are fully charged. And these batteries are dated 2024. So we've got a couple of good batteries. We're going to put them in and we're going to see how long this smoke alarm goes before the batteries drop to 1.25 volts and it starts chirping. Then we will recharge the batteries and run the experiment again. And and that should give us a pretty good estimate of the relative amount of energy we were actually able to put into these batteries by recharging them. Okay, now we're, we're going to record the dates and measure the number of days, and we're going to start our experiment right now. At long last, the batteries in the smoke alarm have run down to the point that it's starting to chirp. This took way longer than I was expecting. You may have seen those public service announcements where they tell you to replace the battery every six months. Well, these batteries ran for 713 days. That's 17 days short of two years. This experiment has gone on way longer than I anticipated. You can hear the smoke alarm chirping. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the batteries now. So let's check our voltage on these batteries. Uh, 1.33 and 1.34. So combined we're down to uh, 2.67. Now we're going to recharge these batteries and we're going to see how many days they last after being recharged. That should give us a rough estimate of what percentage of the original energy density that we were able to actually put back in the batteries. And we make sure that we are on the alkaline battery setting. And you can see our little red lights are on, indicating that these are charging. And you see that animation starting to run, indicating that they're charging up. So we're going to let this battery tr trickle charge for the next several hours. And we will be back when these lights turn green and they're fully charged. 
Okay, after several hours of charging, we now have two green lights. The animation has stopped moving and it shows two charged batteries. Let's take them out and check the voltage. Let's check the voltage on these recharged batteries. 152, 151, they are fully charged. Okay, let's put in our recharged batteries. Okay, we'll just see how long it takes for these batteries to run down and the smoke alarm start chirping again. It's been 110 days since we recharged the batteries and now the smoke alarm is chirping again, indicating that the batteries have run down. We're going to go ahead and pull these batteries and check the voltage. Uh, 1.34, 1.33, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 
So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get some charge on these to get a third charge and to see how much energy density we can put into this after a third charging. Okay, these batteries have been on this dumb charger for a couple hours. Let's check the voltage on these batteries after their third recharge. Okay, 1.55. 1.55. Okay, we're going to put these batteries back into our battery charger. One more go. Let's see how long that lasts. The smoke alarm is chirping again after the third recharging of the batteries. This time the charge lasted only 20 days. That is only 3% of the original time of 713 days. To review, this experiment was done to determine how much energy was actually being put back into these alkaline batteries when you charge them on one of these battery chargers that claims to be able to charge alkaline batteries. The method I used was to recharge the batteries until the battery charger indicated that they were fully charged, and then put them in a smoke alarm and see how long they lasted. The assumption being that since the smoke alarm pulls a constant amount of very low current, the length of time that it took to reach the cutoff point in which the smoke alarm started chirping would be a pretty good indication of how much energy was in the battery relative to a fresh battery. These batteries initially lasted for 713 days. After one recharging, they lasted 110 days. After two rechargings, it was 61 days. After three recharges, it was 20 days. I made a simple bar graph to chart how much energy there is relative to a fresh charge. And here we are, this, this is the size of a bar for the new battery. This is how little there is after the first, and then the second, and then third. And you can see it's pretty dramatically less. Also, after the first recharge, one of the batteries, it started leaking. After the third recharge, the second battery was also leaking. I've redone the chart, making the y-axis logarithmic. And this gives us sort of an interesting linear appearing arrangement of bars. Now, the vertical scale is in multiples of 10. Back to the linear data chart. When you look at a chart like this, it really kind of drives home the point that it really is not worth recharging these alkaline batteries. Even though the battery may read 1.5 volts when you put it on your voltmeter, really there's, there's much, much less energy actually in the battery, and it falls progressively with each recharge. In addition, there's significant risk of battery leakage because when you recharge them, it produces gas, which increases pressure inside of the battery, which can cause leakage and, in the worst case, even cause the battery to explode. One of the reasons I made this video was because the first time I tried this experiment, I concluded basically the same thing, that these alkaline battery chargers really don't work because alkaline batteries themselves are not really rechargeable. There's a reason why they call them non-rechargeable batteries. However, I got lots of feedback with people claiming that, oh yes, they recharge these all the time. So I thought I would put some sort of numbers on this to make the point that these really are not rechargeable batteries. What little charge you're putting back into them really isn't worth the risk of damaging your equipment with leaking batteries. So I want to recharge nickel cadmium batteries or nickel metal hydride batteries, that's fine. But alkaline batteries, Nope. Okay. Thanks for watching.